The dog you're looking at now is Lil Mo. He's a three and a half year old. Shih Tzu and Steph, now how that happened, I don't know, mix. Super sweet, loving, wants attention, loves butt scratches. Um, they did have a hot spot that's being treated, so, you know, scratches, but carefully. Um, should be the only pet in the home. He does not get along with other dogs, nor small children. He has to go with adults, kids, uh, well, grown kids only. So I would say, you know, older teens and up. Um, and they say he may be rude to uh, people when playing with toys, which means he gets possessive of his things. So he's got some socializing to do. And he's fascinated by the noises out here. And he's very, very antsy. And I think he wants to run like heck. But look at that beautiful face. And if you're, if you, you would have to know dogs to take this guy home. And you would have to have a lot of patience with him. But he will learn. He's just a baby. He's only three and a half years old. And he is very loving. His name is Little Mo. And again, I would say an experienced dog owner with some patience. And he will be your best friend. The dog you're looking at now is Dusty Bottoms. He is a neutered male. He's six years old. He's a Chihuahua mix. High, high energy level dog. Loves to play, loves to be petted. Does not like rough play. And he, you know, this is a little guy. So he wants to be petted gently. He knows sit. He gives paw. He loves playing with all kinds of to toys. And they're saying he belongs with kids 12 years and older. In other words, real little ones would overwhelm him. And you don't want that to happen. Again, if you imagine yourself very, very small and somebody looming over you to grab at you, you know how frightening that can be unless that's what you've grown up with and he hasn't. So people who will respect him and people who will pet him and people who will love him and maybe in a kid to play with his toys with him, he will be a very happy companion. His name is Dusty Bottoms. The dog you're looking at now is Minka. She is a German wire-haired pointer. She's spayed female. She's six years old. Minka loves people, and she loves to go for long walks because she's a very, very high-energy dog. She also loves to play with toys. She is somewhat of an escape artist, so you really want to be careful with her that um, she doesn't get away while you're not looking when she's outside. So leashes or a good fenced yard are a good idea. And I'm not 100% sure about a fenced yard. Some of my escape artist friends can get over fences. So just watch her. Great with kids, but should be an only pet. Now, after all, this is a hunting dog. She may pull while walking, so a harness is better for her. But, yeah, she's a sweet girl. Hello, love. She's got such a pretty face and a lot of kisses. But if you've got chickens or you've got birds, be aware of the fact that she has a prey drive, that she is bred to hunt. So don't leave her out. And this is the bad story of the hound with the chickens. <laughs> Just keep her in and love her, and she will love you forever. Her name is Minka. Now, if you've got lots of energy to burn and you're looking for someone to help you burn it, take a look at Spike Little. He is a four-year-old neutered male Rat Terrier mix, high energy, wants to learn tricks as long as you have the treats. Uh, may not get along with other dogs, but he does not mind cats. He loves chasing tennis balls, but I'm not sure he wants to bring them back because she, he does not like it when toys are taken from him. He So you wait until he drop it, and only then is it okay for you to take it. He's going to need some training. Um, he also tends to eat our random our. Whoa, I'm going to quote this. He tends to eat random objects of garbage while on walks. Gloves, receipts, pieces of cardboard, cigarette butts, etc. So please, when you walk him carefully, walk him, walk him on the leash and watch and see that he does not do a cleaning of the neighborhood because it will do terrible things for his belly. He is very cute, very sweet, very high energy. And his name is Spike Little. This little boy, and I will stress little boy, is Tater Tot. He is a 12 and a half year old neutered male Chihuahua mix. Uh, as you know, the smaller the dog, generally the longer the lifespan. So he is 
really basically middle-aged. Loves to roll around in the leaves and he takes short walks. He likes to climb under the blankets. He has no teeth, so he's on a wet food only diet because he can't chew the hard food. He is good with kids, good with other dogs, great in the bath and okay having his nails cut. He walks nicely. He's a little bit timid. Can you pick him up so we can get a close up of his face? Because he's got a beautiful face. So this is a beautiful little boy. He's older. It's cold outside. He'd really like to have a bed with people in it, a couch with someone with a soft lap. He especially admires loving voices and cuddling hands. Um, but he's incredibly dear. And his name is Tater Tot. Why is his name Tater Tot? I don't know why his name is Tater Tot. And if that bothered you, I think I might change it. And I don't think he would care as long as you simply love him. Tater Tot is waiting for a forever home. This is the last dog we're going to show you today. You're looking at Faye, and she is our special needs dog. She is, I mean, she's a pile of straw. She's just absolutely a trip. She's a Westie Shih Tzu mix. Loves, loves, loves people. Super sweet. Loves to play. Um... She's on a special diet because she has a tendency to form crystals in her urine, and she makes kidney stones. So she, the, 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 the special needs reason for her and the additional cost that comes with owning this dog is keeping her on a special diet so that she doesn't get stones. Um, she should go home into a home with kids who are 15 or older, and she needs to be an only dog. She does not want to share you. She wants all of your attention. She wants you to cuddle her. She wants you to pet her. She is, very frankly, a prima donna. She is gorgeous and elegant, and she knows it. And she knows exactly what treatment princesses deserve. And she deserves it all. So this is Faye, the little princess. She's cute as she can be, sweet as she can be, and a very loving little dog. Kisses and hugs, looking for a forever home. Right now, the shelter has two major pro projects that they're asking for help in funding. One of them is Two Paws Up, and that is the construction program that's going on to renovate the kennels and make them that much better for the dogs that are back there. And they need help financially, and it's the season where it's good to give. However, it's good to give all year long, so if you'd like to make a repeating gift, that would be great too. The other program they're looking for help with is to help fund the foster program because the animals, when they are in foster care, uh, and foster care could mean post-surgery or illness or puppies or kittens or lots of other reasons that they can't be adopted out, and it costs the shelter for their medication and their care. So they're looking for donations for the foster care program as well. Uh, and I know this is a hard season because everybody is spending and spending and spending and spending and spending. But it doesn't have to be a lot of money. Even a little money will help. So here is the uh, information about the two big programs going on. And we'd love to see you help with either one.